Hi. We're talking about the original intent of those who ratified our Constitution. And we've been looking at different aspects of it. We remind you regularly that the key is the control or attempt to control the believing of the people, which comes together in government. And this becomes a tool for those who would profit then from that believing. We want to look at representation. And it's going to take maybe a couple of these. I try to keep these to about five, six minutes. So it may take a few of these sessions to get through it. I'll tell a story. We'll see if that's any good. Uh, St. Peter was sitting at the pearly gates and letting folks in. A fellow walks up. St. Peter looks at him, looks at the book, looks at him again. I never had anything like this happen before. He reaches up and grabs this princess phone, wall phone. A lot of you don't even know what that is, but you can Google it. AT&T princess phone, wall phone. Gets on and says, hey, boss. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yep. Okay. Hangs up the princess phone. Fellow was a senator. First time it had a senator in heaven. So he says to him, well, the way it's got to work is this. Come with me. He walks me over this elevator. He says, you're going to have to decide between one of two choices. That's heaven or hell. Get in the elevator, and you're going to go down and see hell for a day. Come back up, you'll see heaven for a day. Then you get to choose. Puts him on the elevator, and down he goes. For a brief moment. He's feeling kind of uncomfortable, really warm, but then all of a sudden it's nice again. Doors open, and there is an absolutely magnificent 144-hole golf course. Mag just gorgeous. Every kind of difficulty, every kind of level. And there's people all over. Very well-dressed, nice. It's a beautiful day. The birds are singing. Oh, it's gorgeous. You know, very comfortable, almost perfect. And up walks Satan, immaculately dressed, handsome, yeah. Shakes his hand. Welcome. Enjoy yourself. You know, enjoy your day. And the guy plays golf. Oh, yeah. They take little breaks. They have some schnapps. You know, play through and get done with the whole thing. That evening, they have a beautiful meal in the clubhouse. A lot of his friends are there. They dance. And they party. He ends up spending the night with a dear old lady he knew. And uh, just great. And next morning, he goes over, gets on the elevator. Pfft, up he goes, right to heaven. Spends the whole day in heaven. Beautiful time. It's really a lovely place, too. Great time. Gets done, and St. Peter comes to him the next morning. Well, what do you want to do? You got to decide. He says, well, beautiful place, both of them. He said, but really, you know, my friends, I see a lot of them down there. So I think I'm going to go to hell. So he gets on the elevator. Down the elevator goes, you know. And he gets to that uncomfortable part, but it stays uncomfortable. And then pretty soon it gets real hot. Real uncomfortable. And the door swings open, you know. And there's a blast of intense heat. And this, like, acid air starts to rip at his skin. And all of a sudden, insects and bugs and little things are biting all over his body. And it is the most horrid place. Arid. Just completely ugly. People are screaming and running around. Just terrible. You know. And he just hurt. Oh, his whole body hurts. Everything. It's just blistering, skin peeling off. It's ugly. And Satan walks up, immaculately dressed, handsome, shakes his hand. Welcome to hell. He goes, what happened? It was so gorgeous the other day. And this is, this is terrible. He's, oh, well, yesterday we were campaigning. 
that you voted. So we're going to talk about representation. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully this helps.